Aren't you gamblers? What do you think is the probability of getting hit by a meteorite? Would you even bet on that? According to scientists, you have greater chances to get struck by lightning, hit by a tornado, and blown away by a hurricane all at the same time. However, there was one person who got this lucky chance. Um, maybe we shouldn't exactly say lucky here. Anyway, here's your story. In the early hours of November 30th, 1954, people across eastern Alabama reported to have witnessed strange things in the sky. Some said they had seen a huge fireball, leaving a trace like a giant welding arc. Others told stories about a bright red light accompanied by a trail of smoke. Others still heard explosions and saw a flash of light leaving a brown cloud behind it. Many believed it was an airplane falling from the sky, but no one knew the real reason for this phenomenon. That is, until it hit the roof of a home in the small town of Sylacauga. About a half hour after the thing hit his house, Eugene Hodges rushed home only to find a huge crowd of gawkers looking at his dwelling, agitated and pointing fingers. He had to push them away from his doorstep to get to his wife, Ann Hodges, who was still inside. When Eugene opened the front door, what he saw shocked him. Ann was lying on her couch, obviously in pain, an enormous bruise on her side. The roof had a large round hole in it, as if something big crashed through it. The wooden console radio was shattered, and somewhere on the floor, near the couch where his wife lay, there was a grapefruit-sized chunk of black rock. As it turned out, Anne was having a nap and was blissfully unaware of the events that unfolded right above her head. She was woken up by a crash, but couldn't react or do anything at all when she felt a sharp pain in her side. People from around the neighborhood started gathering around the Hodges' house almost immediately. Anne was afraid to touch the piece of rock beside her couch, and she was still in pain when her husband returned. Still, she was only bruised and could walk, so she called the police, and they sent investigators along with a government geologist to check out the rock. Everyone was in near panic because of the event. Some believed it was just a part of a wrecked airplane that fell somewhere around while others thought it was a missile attack or something. The geologist, though, who rushed in from a nearby quarry, said that the rock was a piece of a meteorite. When the news spread, Ann Hodges immediately became the center of everyone's attention in town. In fact, she was so overwhelmed by the unwanted visitors that she had a nervous breakdown and had to be taken to the hospital in a hurry. The doctors who treated her confirmed a severe bruise, but nothing life-threatening. The meteorite itself was taken by the police and given to the U.S. Air Force for inspection. There, experts confirmed it was indeed a chunk of space rock. After that, the hype rose to an incredible degree. No one really knew what to do with a meteorite, and all generally agreed that Ann Hodges had all the rights to keep it. Her landlady disagreed, though, saying it was her land that the rock hit. But in the end, she let the Hodges keep it for $500. Up to this day, Ann Hodges remains the only human to have ever been struck by a meteorite in known history. Well, what would you feel if you were to set such a record? Let me know down in the comments. Anyway, meteorites are extremely rare guests on our planet, mostly thanks to the layer of atmosphere that protects us from space assaults. Normally, when they manage to break through without burning to ashes, they fall in distant, sparsely populated areas, and no one even sees them. However, meteorites are much less dangerous than another phenomenon they're closely related with – meteors. Yeah, I know, they sound so alike you wouldn't even think there was a difference. But there is, and a big one. You see, meteorite is a chunk of rock from outer space that lands on the surface of our planet and hits the ground at unbelievable speeds. It's usually a piece of a much larger rock or an asteroid that got chipped and blown away. That's exactly what happened in Silicauga with Ann Hodges. Meteor, on the other hand, is a similar piece of rock that gets so hot that it shatters with violent force in the atmosphere and can cause incredible damage. One of the most spectacular examples of a meteor explosion was in 2013 in Chelyabinsk, Russia. It was evening 
and most people were going home from work, when suddenly, a bright spark appeared in the sky. It flew silently, quickly growing, and then disappeared with a final, extremely bright flash. There were dozens of videos on the internet made by eyewitnesses of the event, many of which you can still find and watch yourself. Nobody really understood what was happening, and the confusion reached its peak when the shockwave struck. It sounded like a cannon shot, and the ground shook, rolling through the whole city. Those closest to the epicenter were pushed back and down with such force that over 1,500 people were injured and windows burst in a lot of buildings throughout the town. It was estimated that the explosion was about 30 times more powerful than an atomic bomb. Luckily for the residents of Chelyabinsk, the meteor boomed 19 miles above the city, so it didn't suffer the catastrophic consequences of such a blast. Still, it did certain damage even at that height. But that wasn't even the most powerful meteor strike witnessed by humans in recent history. That one happened in the beginning of the 20th century, and it was also in Russia, namely Tunguska, Siberia. June 30th, 1908. A lone man was sitting in a chair on the porch of a trading post, thinking. Suddenly, he saw how the sky in the north, above the forest, was split in two and covered with fire. Moments later, there was a loud bang, crash, and then the sound like rocks falling from the sky. The earth trembled, and after a few more seconds, a heat wave struck with such force that the man was blown away from his chair and felt as if his shirt was on fire. To understand the sheer scale of the explosion, just imagine that a huge rock weighing over 220 million pounds entered the Earth's atmosphere at a speed of 33,500 miles per hour and heated the air around it to a whopping 44,500 degrees Fahrenheit. The meteorite couldn't withstand the enormous temperature and pressure, and as a result, it blew up in the air with a force of 185 atomic bombs. This happening was dubbed the Tunguska event, and it was the most powerful meteor explosion in thousands of years. The space rock that exploded in the sky above Siberia was twice the size of the Chelyabinsk meteor, and almost 10 times as heavy. As a result, the blast was so powerful that it flattened the trees in the area of 800 square miles, leaving them prone on the ground, facing away from the epicenter. Right beneath the explosion, though, the trees stood straight but bare. All of their branches and bark were stripped off them. This happens when the shockwave is just too fast and furious, and branches break off before they could transfer the impact to the stem of a tree. It was later reported that the shockwave from the blast was registered by barometers as far away as London. Dense clouds formed above Tunguska that reflected sunlight from below the horizon, and people in Asia were able to read outside at midnight, as if it were the middle of the day. There were, of course, even more powerful and horrifying meteor events, such as the one that presumably killed off the dinosaurs millions of years ago. But these two are probably the most impressive strikes in human history. But what's more disturbing is that they are not the last. Scientists are not sure about the time and place, but huge rocks from outer space will always threaten our planet, and maybe even its existence. However, rest assured, nothing big is coming our way in the near future, so we shouldn't worry about meteorites anytime soon. So, do you know of any other notorious meteor events that happened recently? Let me know down in the comments! If you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend. But hey, don't go anywhere just yet! We have over 2,000 cool videos for you to check out. All you have to do is pick the left or right video, click on it, and enjoy. Stay on the bright side of life!